What's your name? Randy Bryce. And what union are you a part of? Iron Workers Local 8. And what does Occupy Milwaukee mean to you? Um, it means that there are 99% of the people that don't control the majority of the wealth in the country. And there's 1% that seems to have control over everything, including elections, um, what goes on, the rules, basically just buying all the politicians. And it's, it's not a democracy, it's, uh, it's a plutocracy. This is, I mean, this is warned about if, you know, Thomas Jefferson, that banks are more dangerous than standing armies. So the unions have endorsed Occupy Milwaukee and Occupy Wall Street. What do you think that means as a union endorsement? Um, well, since Occupy Wall Street, I, I heard about it prior to it actually becoming an event. And I, as a, you know, I supported it. And as looking at uh, what it means to me to, to belong to a labor union, and what the Occupy Wall Street movement meant, I, I didn't see any difference whatsoever. It's, it's the same thing. It's you know the people that, that have that do that build America, being able to control how decisions are made in America. And how do you relate the union bus scene in Wisconsin to what's going on now? It's, it's, exactly the problem, and that's another reason why I saw the two parallels, because it's big money that supports. Scott Walker deciding that he needs to get put in power and, and it was all a result of big money coming in from outside groups. It wasn't necessarily just a democratic process, but the way that people arrive at a decision to vote is based off of what they see on TV or hear on the radio. And all of that is, is uh, purchased ads. And why do you think this movement is important for solidarity of the 99%? Because right now, I think people are understanding that they're at getting towards the bottom of their rope with with the banks being bailed out with all you know taxpayer money and instead of doing that to help people they give big bonuses to their CEOs the ones who made the decisions to tank their companies in the first place and if I mean just records record low unemployment since the oppression people are losing their houses now um, if, if people know that if something's not done right now the next step is the mass is not being able to have any say. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, just that I'm, I'm very glad that this is bringing up all across, you know, not just the United States, but the world, because this, this wealth distribution inequality is, is rampant everywhere. It would, uh, with uh, jobs being outsourced, which that also affects us here, and it's, uh, I'm, it's about time. I'm glad to see that something has started in Madison, and I see this whole movement as an offshoot of that because all of the parallels and all the similarities of why we were marching in Madison.